All right, so we obviously need to first start to think about where these energy storage molecules come from to really understand why there weren't enough in the biodome. Since we can't go to the biodome and visit, we are going to go and use a digital model to be able to recreate the conditions that perhaps were happening in the biodome. If you have access to the digital model, now would be a great time to go ahead and open it up and take a couple of moments to explore. Click around and see what you can do in the digital model, see what kind of information you can find, and any new things that we haven't really talked about yet before. Let's check back in in a couple of moments. So hopefully you got to go ahead and take a look at the digital model. If you didn't, that's all right. You can go ahead and follow along as I go through it with you. You might have noticed that there are two different parts to the digital model, an area called abiotic matter and biotic matter. Abiotic matter is all of the non-living parts of an ecosystem. So you might notice here, this is talking about the air, the sun, parts of the ecosystem that are not alive. Biotic matter is the living parts of an ecosystem that also includes dead matter. So if you notice here, we have some different types of biotic matter. It looks like something called producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, these things called decomposers, and then of course the dead matter is included in this because it was previously living. You might have noticed in the digital model that there are different things that you can do to the different parts of the ecosystem. It looks like there is sunlight in the ecosystem and that you can adjust levels. There also is different things in the abiotic matter it looks like you can add or decrease the amount of abiotic carbon dioxide in the digital model. You can add or remove organisms from these different groups. You can add or remove the number or amount of dead matter. You can click play or change the speed to be able to see what's going on. Once you click play, you might notice that there's a whole bunch of things going on. Now, it's really helpful to make sure you understand what these different symbols are by looking at the key. The energy storage molecules are these orange kind of disks with these black dots in them. The carbon dioxide is shown as these gray diamonds with these black dots as well. The black dots are something called carbon. You can trap carbon dioxide, bury dead matter, you can kill organisms, it also looks like you can zoom into a specific organism and look inside its cells. I also notice that you have the ability to be able to burn what looks like the dead matter. You also can go ahead and click on some different views in the bottom left hand corner. Notice there's one that says info view, which will allow you to see little tables of information. And there is also the option to open graph view. If we click there, we open up the screen where we can see a graph of all the different things happening in the digital model. Now, you probably notice there's so much you can do. So it could be overwhelming to have all of that data on the screen. That's why it's helpful to click on the toggles on and off to show the different things that you want to see. If you want to see specific types of biotic organisms or abiotic organisms, then you can go ahead and click on these different things. You also are able to see places where you did different things in the digital model, like click kill or burn. And so we can go back to those moments and understand what happened. It's really good to make sure that you understand what you are wanting to see in the graphical mode before you start analyzing the data. This way, you can only have the things turned on that you want to be studying. Now, as we saw in the key, something that is in the digital model and seems to be important is this small little atom of carbon. Just as we learned in our chemical reactions unit, a carbon atom is one single atom of carbon. It looks like 
this carbon atom is also involved in the molecule carbon dioxide. But there are other things attached to this carbon atom in that carbon dioxide molecule. Now we also saw these black dots in the energy storage molecules. And we know that this means that they also contain carbon. Carbon is a type of atom, which is a tiny piece that makes up molecules such as carbon dioxide and energy storage molecules. It seems like it might be important because it's included in both of the kinds of molecules that we can see in the digital model.